We all have the stories we dream to tell. We all have something deep within us that makes us want to go out and create. For me, ever since I was nine years old, watching documentaries like Planet Earth made me want to explore nature and where we, as humans, fit in it. This is what led me to pursue filmmaking, to become a YouTuber and to tell stories. I got an email from Arthis inviting me to travel to Iceland on a week-long shoot and capture the work of Kashka, a sound effects artist that records sounds for the Arthis catalog. Kashka taught me how to think about the land of ice and fire in a completely different way. Through the sounds of Iceland. We just landed in Iceland. We picked up the car and we're driving in a very misty landscape. You have been recording sounds all across Iceland. These sounds are on Artlist as well. One day I just got an email in my inbox from Artlist. We really like what you're doing. We would like you to record some sounds for us. And I was really surprised and honored actually. I see what impact the sound has on, on people. And uh, I'm not only meaning like the psychological thing that has an influence on our emotions, but also sound as a wave. It's physically touching the person. So sound actually can change person. I started asking myself how you experience Iceland when you don't look at it, just listen to it. Iceland has so much more to offer than beautiful views. There are smells, textures, and sounds. Here below the surface, we have boiling water. Some of it we can still see boiling. Below, there is magma. We are very close to hell. <laughs> I started traveling around. In all these places, I was just stopping, turning the microphone on and listening. I thought that that might be the way to inspire people to experience the world more by their sense of hearing. I think there is no crazier place to be than Iceland right now, you know. The diversity in in nature is extreme here. From glaciers to like massive canyons to like endless lava. What do you see? I see the glacier. <laughs> it's getting smaller and smaller every time I'm here, to be honest. So I actually feel sad a little bit seeing that. I was wondering if Iceland was maybe so far the most challenging places for you to, yeah. to film. Yeah, that's it, absolutely. So yeah, you started as a user of Artlist and then you became part of Artlist. I shared my, my, my videos, my clips through that catalog and that pushed me also to just go out there, you know, go outside and just shoot. That really created something for me and that sort of clicked in my head like, wow, okay, now I can become a creator on my own. Super cool to think about, you know, my sounds will be somewhere, like in some video when people will be listening to it. It's, it's a super nice feeling. As a visual storyteller, I'm used to thinking of the world as shots, as scenes, how things look well through my lens and on a screen. Spending this week in Iceland with Kashka helped me to connect with a different aspect of my craft and realize the immense effect that sound has, not only in filmmaking, but also in nature itself. Kashka's unrelenting commitment to her craft, her willingness to go to the most extreme places and document them through sound has truly inspired me to go deeper into my stories and experience the places I'm in to their fullest and ultimately become what we all aspire to be, a better creator.